Ladies and gentlemen, Bryce Young just got benched for Andy Dalton, and it, 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 we're just we, we're two weeks into the season, guys. We're two weeks into the season, and Bryce Young just got benched for, I think, 37-year-old Andy Dalton. I mean, what type of news? I did not expect this coming into my, uh, my, my Monday morning here. We're going to look up Andy Dalton, his age, his stats. And I mean, I, I agree with this move. Don't get me wrong, but I'm, I'm surprised Dave Canales has already made this move and we're, and we're just two weeks into the season. They have a combined 13 points in two games and, and they've lost by a combined like 65 points. So doesn't really surprise me. Here's Andy Dalton, 36, turns 37 at the end of the next month, which is kind of concerning. But, you know, quarterbacks nowadays, they're pretty good until their late 30s. So Andy Dalton obviously came in last year and had some success. With the offense, 361 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. He looked way better than Bryce Young last year. I'm surprised he didn't take the drop last year, but it, it would have been a little bit too fast. Uh, his last starting season, full starting season, was in New Orleans in 2022 when he was 35 years old. Started 14 games, 2,800 yards, 18, 18 touchdowns, and only nine interceptions. That isn't a bad season. That's what you kind of expect from Andy Dalton. Definitely the definition of a game manager. But, but I got news for you guys. Game managers... That's what quarterbacks are. That's what you want your quarterback to be. You want your quarterback to be able to get, uh, manage a game. Me personally, I'm a Colts fan. Anthony Richardson is not a game manager. He's not anything right now. He's just something that is, is he's just this character who looks like Optimus Prime and looks, you know, plays like him at, at times and then other times plays like the worst player in NFL history. So at, you want a game manager. You want a quarterback who can manage the game and not turn the ball over and just do what needs to be done to win the game. And that's what Andy Dalton can do. Bryce Young has not proven that at all in his, in his first 16, 17, 18 games, whatever it's been as a starting quarterback in this league. And Andy Dalton proved that year in and year out for 10 years with the, with the Bengals. So 100% agree with this move. I'm just surprised it came this early. I really am. I really am surprised. Source Tom Pelissero says the Panthers are benching former number one overall pick Bryce Young and starting veteran Andy Dalton beginning this week. Coach Dave Canales repeated, has repeatedly said Bryce is our quarterback, but with, with the season quickly slipping away, Canales decided to make a change. I mean, yeah, Bryce Young is done in Carolina. No, no doubt about it. This is 100% true. He's done. He'll never start a game for Carolina ever again unless Andy gets hurt. In my opinion, he'll probably get cut. Uh, after this season or something or traded or something. I don't know, but he's done in Carolina. Uh, I'm sorry for Panthers fans. I really am. I, I think Bryce Young is an outstanding human. I really do. And I think he got put in the worst possible situation that you could be put in as an NFL quarterback. Uh, but he does look very small out there. He's 5'9". He can't look over the offensive line. He gets hit so often. He, has, he hasn't gotten injured as much as I thought he, thought he would, but he's just not good. At least at this moment in time, he's not good. And he's not better than Andy Dalton. And that's why Dave Canales is just making the obvious obvious choice. And he's doing it earlier rather than later. Maybe the Panthers can sneak out six wins this season because they're starting Andy Dalton. I don't know. I don't know. But I, what I do know is that I watched Andy Dalton start in this league. And I watched him be a competent quarterback. Okay? And that's what he was. Let's look at his stats one more time. Obviously, this was back in his heyday. But like I said, just two years ago in, in New Orleans, he was racking 3,000 yards and 20 touchdowns. His best year ever is probably this year right here with Cincinnati at 30 years old. 3,300 yards, 25 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Uh, this one was a high interception year, but he had 33 touchdowns, 4,300 yards. I mean, he has a total of 40,000 yards in his career. I'm surprised he is a backup in this league. I'm not going to lie. I think Andy Dalton is better than you know, the bottom five quarterbacks in the league, in my opinion. Like, is Will Levis better than Andy Dalton? No. Is Bryce Young better than Andy Dalton? Absolutely not. Is Russell Wilson or Justin Fields better than Andy Dalton? Justin Fields probably is. Russell Wilson at this point? I don't really know. Um, there's just quarterbacks in this league who I think Andy Dalton could clearly start over. And, I'm, and Bryce Young is definitely one of them. So, Props to Dave Canales for having the balls to make this move. I'm sorry, Panthers fans, once again, and I'm sorry, Bryce Young, that you put, got put in the situation. I hope you find an opportunity somewhere else to at least compete for a starting job, maybe. Um, but yeah, that's the news. I'm surprised. I'm just as surprised as you are. Wow. Um, it's Andy Dalton season, ladies and gentlemen.